thinking about the idea of the multiverse, uh, everything everywhere all at once inspiring this. The idea that every decision makes a branching universe, what that takes out, and this is some, what that takes out of this is the idea of the experience of the results of that decision. So the consciousness, so let's say I can choose left or right on the path and I choose right. There is no, um, there is no consciousness from my point of view of the left-hand path. And the fact that the left-hand path happens as well is not the same. There's something, there's something fundamentally different between the right path and the left path. If, if I choose at, to, at this moment in this multiverse to choose to take the right-hand path, it's... So imagine every outcome of every event will happen. So it's a kind of absurdly infinite universe in which everything happens. That is... The choices that are made by individuals that are originated by consciousnesses or consciousness and their absence in the choices that were not made, even though all events will happen, there seems to be something fundamental, fundamentally distinct. It's like there's one path of consciousness through the, all these these possible out this kind of network this, of universes. I mean, I've I've never believed the multiverse theory. I always thought it was a, a kind of, and I remember first hearing about it, reading about QM. You know. 30 years ago, gosh. And um, I always thought, as others have, it's kind of a bit of a cop-out. It solves um, many, it, so, it solves problems just by saying, oh, well, the universe splits. So if there's a contradiction, let's just make the universe split. So that, that has always seemed to me to be a bit kind of, um, it, it never intuitively felt felt good. Um, but now this this new idea that I'm saying here is this idea that from the point of view of consciousness, there is a distinction between my conscious experience of the paths that I did choose as opposed to those I didn't choose. And remember, we're not saying that every possible outcome happen. Even if, so there's kind of three levels of this. There's every possible outcome happens. There's choices, of, as in one without even kind of choice, just by observation. There are ones where the kind of the kind of traditional multiverse, as it were, where these these choices um, individuate these forks in in the, the kind of space time continuum. And I'm saying that there's this third way, which is the actual path of consciousness through all these possibilities. It seems very, uh, it seems very intuitive to me that there is something distinct between the choices we make and those we don't make. Otherwise, how is there? Yeah, I mean, that's that's my intuitive thinking. But above that and beyond that, it's also it's the, the kind of the importance of choice has to come from the fact that that the one we choose is different to the one we don't choose. So. You know, the multiverse theory and the simulation theory, these are all, I don't think, they're kind of these, I think they're kind of bugbears in thinking. They're kind of gear, it sticks in the wheel um, because they just provide um, possibilities without recognising the importance of consciousness within the universe or the multiverse. So that's my thoughts on that. There we go.